Jake Lamb, David Peralta, Nick Ahmed, here they are. I love the energy out here today. A little chilly, but this is fantastic. One, two, three, you guys one, two, have been awesome. What have you been up to in the off season, Nick? What have you been doing? Hello. Uh, you know, I just uh, got out a couple weeks ago here, but uh, we had a baby in December, uh, our second boy, so changing a lot of diapers, uh, being a dad, doing that kind of stuff. Now, Jake, you finally had enough with Archie and moved out, right? Yes, yes. Well, Good move. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I got a house in October. So it's just you. I've been... <laughs> I've been filling that up, so that's been my off-season. And David, how about you and Jordan? Uh, we've been doing really great. And my off-season, I'm just playing with my daughter and my family, just trying to be a better dad and learning how to do well. <laughs> well, it's a different feel this year for obvious reasons, a different look, but still plenty of optimism. Jake, let's start with you. What about potential life as a first baseman for you yeah I've been uh, I've been working on that the past month or so so uh, coming off my shoulder injury everything's feeling good I'm just excited to get back out on the field how has that process been going for you physically after the oper operation was last year when exactly shoot was that August August yeah, yeah. so I've how's that been going physically for you uh, it's been it was tough it was a tough off season but uh, this is the first time I stayed out here all off season, which was really nice. It's beautiful in the winter, believe it or not. It's not like that in Seattle. But uh, yeah, I, I feel good, I feel strong, and now it's just kind of you know, getting into game action. Nick, where does uh, the Gold Glove Award go in the Amo, Ahmed household? Is it up on the mantle? Do you see it when you walk in the door? Uh, I don't know, we haven't got it yet. I believe I just told we, I'm gonna get it on opening day, so. Just enjoy it with you fans, that'll be awesome. But I'll let my wife Amanda pick a good spot for it at home. She does the decorating? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> David, last season for you, I had to write these numbers down, they're so remarkable. Two years ago, 14 home runs, last year, 30. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Two years ago. I was ago, getting the weight room a lot. <laughs> yeah. 57 RBIs two years ago, last season, 87. Dang. Good, Dave. Excuse you. Nick is going to get his gold glove soon. You're going to get your silver slugger award soon. Let's go. What, what changed for you last year offensively that saw those numbers jump up so much? Well, for me, I think I was healthy. You know, in 2017, I was coming from an injury. And I think this is a process to get like 100%. So this last year, I had more time to prepare myself, to be better, to adjust a little bit. And I was just having fun every day. I know we went through like a rough May, but I was just coming every day to the ballpark and just giving my best. And I think that was the key. Well, Nick, I know you had fun offensively. Every number you had was a career high, just about. 33 doubles, 16 home runs, 70 RBIs. What clicked offensively for you last year? Uh, kind of like David, too. I was healthy and able to play a full year. Um, you know, just trying to get a little bit better every day, just learn from my mistakes in the past, and just be more consistent. I've got guys like this to lean on and learn from. Um, you know, it's just a little bit more consistency. Uh, just a better idea of how the other pitches are trying to attack me, uh, maximizing the right pitches to swing at and trying to, to lay off the ones I shouldn't be. Jake, David mentioned what a, a big key health was for him. I know with your shoulder last year, there wasn't a tremendous amount of pain for you, but something just didn't feel right. What, what were you going through physically last year? A lot. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> but that's, that's exactly right. I just... <laughs> Thanks, man. No, thank you. Uh, it just didn't feel right. And the pain level wasn't that high. And so the whole time I, I uh, was kind of just focused on, you know, getting the swing back and feeling better. But yeah, just there was a discomfort there the whole time. And um, I think when I dove in Chicago and felt something, it was kind of a blessing in disguise because uh, I would have continued to play and tried to help my team win. Um, but obviously that wasn't the case, so 
Uh, I feel stronger than I ever had now, and uh, you know, we'll see how that goes. Because initially it was the dive in that Dodger game, right? Yeah. I think it was the fourth game of the year yeah. when you first heard it. Off to a great start. Yeah. Fourth game of the year. Uh, but, yeah, it was, it was tough, you know, the, the rehab process and then getting back and um, knowing that it just wasn't quite there. So um, I'm good now, and I'm ready to go. Yeah. All you guys have been through injuries before, different things have happened. I know how difficult that must be, but it's just great to see you all here healthy and set for 2019. Mike and Vanessa, I know we got a long line of people with questions for our panel here, so fire away. If you guys do have a question, feel free to come on up here. We can get you guys lined up. I think it's just people waiting for David Peralta's that, autograph, actually. I believe, it, believe that is the case, yeah. There's a drawing over here. There's a bunch of jerseys. Aww. Oh, here you go. Hi. Hey. Anybody that has a question for these guys, feel free to uh, check in with Mike and Vanessa. This is your guys' day. We're here for you today, so please step up. Hi, I'm Lynn Palmer. David, you're Hi. my favorite. Uh, what, what, what line are you going to be playing? You're going to be out there, which base? Field? Me? Out the outfield? Oh, I'm going to be playing left field. At the left field. All right. Thank you. Every day. <laughs> I don't know about every day. Have you cleared that with Tori? He's the king of the day off. I know. <laughs> Do you guys have to fight through that with him occasionally? I know you guys all want to play every day, but Tori's uh, pretty strict about making sure everybody gets regular off days. Well, he, he's a smart guy, and he knows when we need a day off. Of course, we want to play every day, but we're a human being, too. We need a break, you know, because it's a long season. So every time when he decides, hey, you're going to have a day off, we trust him. Who's next? For Peralta, I wanted to know how many you have, and do they play baseball as well? How many kids? And the children. Well, how many kids? I have one daughter. She is, a, yeah, she's 18 months, and she's going so to So does play. she play baseball? She's going to, yeah, for sure, yeah. <laughs> She already does this. Choo choo. So she on the right track. <laughs> and we have a uh, David Peralta freight train bobblehead coming up this year. That's going to be a big item. Got tremendous giveaway items all year long at Chase Field. Nick, you have a you have a moon landing bobblehead or something, don't you? You're on the moon. Yeah, can we talk about that? Yeah, I just heard about that. Uh, 50th anniversary landing on the moon, so uh, we're going to celebrate it with me going to the moon. Yeah, Nick yeah, on the moon bobblehead. Baby. And we've had bobbleheads where Jake was a shepherd and another one where Whoa, you were what? a hockey player. Remember the bobblehead where you were the shepherd? Yeah, my first ever bobblehead. Yeah, yeah I was honor. a zookeeper. There it is, right there. There we go. Hey, Mike. Wow. We have uh, Jimmy and his son, Gunner, here. You guys go for it. All right. All right. So I've been listen I, I listen to Sports Center and all that all the time. And they got Oh, you those guys don't know anything. No, they don't. No. <laughs> what do they know? So, so we, uh, they got us winning 81 games without Goldie and Pollock. And I, I, tr you know, I believe in us. I believe in our team. But the one thing I want to ask you guys is, are we going to take the Dodgers out of the division this year? I love it. The one guy with a Dodger shirt, there he is. Yeah. Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Better put that coat on, big fella. Flag on. Well, it's obviously, it's, it's a natural rival, the Dodgers have won the division now I think six years in a row but uh, eventually we got to knock them off maybe this is the year yeah, I think it's time I think it's time yeah. uh, we're ready to do it uh, we're gonna play as hard as we can for 162 and uh, at the end of this September uh, hopefully we'll be gonna be on top yeah. but but we're gonna need the support from you guys okay 
Because this is a team and we're a huge family and you guys are part of this, okay? So you guys better come every single day to support us and we're gonna do better. We're gonna be good, okay? You're supposed to do that at the end. I just got so excited. <laughs> well, we've seen the ballpark. When you guys show up, there's an energy level in there. We can fill that place up, and it's an awfully difficult place for other teams to win when Chase Field is buzzing. Mike, who's next? Nikki is next. Step up to the batter's box, Nikki. For any of you, there's a lot of little kids out here that are in Little League softball, including my son, who's front and center down there. Um, what was the best advice that you got in Little League that has brought you to where you're at now? Just have fun. You know, play whatever sport you want to play and, and have fun with your friends and um, play hard. It's nothing more than that, especially at his age. Did you guys play other sports as kids too? Were you, what'd you do, hockey, basketball? You play, Jake. Uh, soccer, basketball, baseball. No. Yeah, soccer. No. Okay, yeah. What? You play soccer? I've, I'm better than you at soccer. Whoa! Now, you're, this is a chance for your mic drop right now. No, because we're not done yet. I mean, I'm staying here for the whole interview. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And for sure, basketball. I've seen you shoot. All right, I give it to you, yeah, that okay. one. They're together for eight months a year. It's like this every day. <laughs> Nick's next, the best Mike? basketball, though. I've seen him shoot, too. Can you ball? Uh, I used to, I guess, back in the day, but uh, it's, been, it's been a while. It's been a while. Come on, Humble. Nikki. Too humble. <laughs> Are you guys talking about the actual sports or PlayStation? <laughs> yeah, that's what we... <laughs> I'm just checking, Jake. You don't know anymore, I guess. <laughs> the actual sport in real life. Well, you know, we have a big baseball fan here, eight-year-old Casey, as a question for you. Peralta, who was your favorite player when you were growing up? Great question. Yeah, that was a great question. Um, my favorite player was, still is, uh, Johan Santana, a pitcher from the Mets and the Twins like a long time ago. And, and yeah, he was my favorite player all the time. Because you started out as a pitcher, of course, so that makes a lot of sense when you were younger. Yeah, Peralta, uh, sometimes in the outfield, I go out for a cutoff, he gives me the change-up sign. I think he thinks he's Santana for some reason. Uh, we're going to work on his fastball, try to get a little more behind it this year. I see how it is, okay? You're going to bring this out right here, man? Okay. Hi, my name's Lizzie Lujan, and we sit in left field. Woohoo! Peralta, you're my daughter's favorite player. I have a question for you and for Nick. As do you think, well, you Peralta, you're a new dad. Do you think that becoming a father has made you a better player? And Nick, do you think that being a father makes you a better player? They got the grown man power now. Of course it does. Yeah. Well, for sure makes me be a better player and especially a better person too. Do you be feel like a real adult now? <laughs> Whoa. That's the way they're supposed to feel, right? Well, as a mom, sometimes I still don't believe I'm an adult. And then, you know, that kind of makes me feel well, like Well, because deep inside, we're a child, too, you know? But at the same time, we're a grown man, and we're trying to teach our daughter or my daughter the right thing. But Are you going to have her play baseball or softball? That's a good question. So you know, softball girls, they're pretty, you know, they're pretty B.A. Yeah, because her mom, my wife, she used to play softball. So there you yeah, go. There I you think go. she's going to play softball. A pitcher, maybe? <laughs> huh? Maybe she'll be a pitcher? <sighs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. Her. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Nick, how about you now that you have uh, two children? What's yeah, I mean, like? I think uh, as a parent, you really learn quickly that life's not all about you. Um, you know, your kids depend on you so much, and I think that's a good thing for me and all the other dads to bring to the field uh, every day, just to know that, you know, once I step out in the field or in the clubhouse, it's not about me, it's about the team, uh, and I'm just going to do what I can to help out, uh, do the best I can when the ball is hit to me, when I got the bat in my hand, but 
uh, when it's not, I'm going to try to do the best I can to be a good teammate and help, uh, help you guys out. Thank you guys so much. And also, thank you for being awesome role models to my kids who are watching you guys. Thank Thanks you. for thank coming. You. Go D-backs. We got about five more minutes. If uh, anybody has a question for David or Jake or Nick, step right up. We can adjust the microphone size. How about Mike? Who we got? Eli, eight-year-old Eli, right here. Go for it. How do you guys hit so many home runs? <laughs> David, you hit 30 last year. How? Are you are you trying to hit a home run? No, you don't try. It just happened. Yeah, it's hard to explain because it's happened. I think uh, you just got to try to hit, hit the ball square. Uh, it's such a hard game to be consistent. If you can work on hitting line drives through the middle of the field, eventually you get big and strong like David, they're going to start going over the fence. It's been a very heavy Peralta segment, I've noticed. I'm feeling big right now. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Step right up. Uh, we have Darlene right here. Darlene, step up. Hi, Darlene. Hello. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you to you all for what you do on the field and what you do in the community. Um, I saw a story about Jake this week about how you went and had lunch. That's amazing. A lot of young kids look up to you guys, and it's extraordinary what you do. Um, I actually have two questions. My first question is, is that now that we've had some folks leave the D-backs, you three are the upcoming stars of this team. How do you feel? Are you ready to roll? And are we going to bring one home this year? Feels like it's a pretty solid group. We've got an all-star player. We've got a gold glover. We've got a silver slugger award winner. The cupboard is hardly bare here, guys. There's a lot going on. Yeah, I mean, I think we're going to get questions all the time with, with Paul Goldsmith being gone. Um, you know, who's the, who's the face of the franchise? And we just got a couple of those down there. But... Uh, we're not going to try to replace him or Corbin or Pollock or anybody else. We're just going to be ourselves and get a little bit better every day, and we're going to try to be a team and, and bring home a championship for Arizona. Thank you. And um, one more question for Jake. Now that you have a new house, did you go dish or cable? <laughs> oh, man. Still empty the house. <laughs> <laughs> I went cable, yeah. <laughs> Quick <laughs> You guys, we have uh, we have Mario here. Mario, hey, very Mario. proud, very proud that his uh, his league and Chandler Youth, sponsored by the Arizona Diamondbacks, got these jerseys. But he also has a question for you guys. Who inspired all three of you when you guys were growing up? My parents, yeah. my mom, my dad, my whole family. They're inspiring me to, and I'm here because of my mom and my dad and my family because they support me. When I need it, they're with me in good moments, bad moments, and that's what you're looking for. And for all the parents here, give to your kids whatever they need. Support them into the end because that's the reason that I'm here talking to you guys, because my parents. Yeah, Jake, you're, I see your mom and dad on the road all the time. They still yeah, come was, to all I was going to say the same thing. My, my family, um, especially my mom and dad, I mean, I'm not here without my mom driving me to every practice growing up. And then my dad, you know, going out and playing catch with me every day whenever I wanted. They never forced me to do anything. Um, so, yeah, definitely my family and my parents especially. Not to be uh, a robot copying these guys, but the same thing. I wouldn't be here without my parents. Uh, just the support they gave me, the opportunity they blessed me with to be able to play. You know, like Jake said, driving me to all over the country. Uh, playing games, you know, just putting food on the table, uh, teaching me the right things at a young age to, to help me get here. And my two brothers as well, they both pushed me, uh, got to play with them growing up all through high school, so definitely family. And yeah, Nick's got a brother in the – is Michael still with the Dodgers? Yeah, he is, yep. Ooh. Yeah, boo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we got time for one more question, and then we got to wrap it up. All right, well, Ashlyn, you get to finish it off. For these guys, we do have more Q and A's today. More Q and A's coming up later today. If you do have questions, you can line up right here. But Ashlyn will finish it off. Hi guys. So my quick question is, how do you prepare for a game that's different from other players? That's a great question. 
Yeah, I think everyone has a different routine throughout the day. Um, but for the most part, I mean, you warm up the body and then you, you take batting practice, get some ground balls or fly balls and get a good meal in you after batting practice and then head out. Some guys are got the headphones on and they're off in space somewhere. Nick, what do you do after batting practice but maybe before the game and that time in between? Yeah, I mean, it's nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, any different what these guys do, you know, throw a little bit of music on, uh, get the uniform on. Um, you know, we have a little pregame prayer. Some guys get together and pray before the game. Uh, that might be a little different than some other guys. But um, like Jake said, you have a meal, get your body ready to play. Uh, maybe watch a little bit of video right before I go out and then, and then go play. And I, I believe David just does his hair, right? No, no. <laughs> Jake, you told me that, I think. Hair, lotion, and cologne. It's a whole no. thing. <laughs> to be honest, after what kind of lotion? practice. What kind of lotion? What kind it's a secret. of lotion? I can tell the secret. It's a secret. If you smell good, you play good. Yeah. How about our guys here, David Peralta, Jake Lamb, and Nick Ahmed? Thanks to them. Thanks to all of you for showing up today. We really appreciate it.